everybody. Welcome back to the show. Before we go just one minute further, let's step in and say hello to our friend John Baptiste. Hello, John. Hello. Hello. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I was going to ask how you are, but I know how you are, which is the busiest man in lockdown because you're always doing something. You've got uh, this Sunday, you're going to be on CBS, right? Yes, that's right. That's right. With my good friend Harry Connick Jr. and many others. It's a United We Sing, a Grammy tribute to the unsung heroes. What can we expect? Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of good music. And also, people in the community are going to meet other celebrities and performers and tell them about their experience during COVID-19. So it's going to be an incredible thing to see, the real story from the people on the front lines. Celebrating the essential workers right now. That's right. And uh, we got uh, Oprah, Brad yep. Pitt. Sandra Bullock, Dave Matthews. Yes, yes. And now I know you contributed a special performance, Jim. I think we have some tape of this. If you could roll this while I'm talking to John. Yes. Who, what are you performing here and, and who is this uh, singing with you? It's the Gospel Soul Children. And this choir is an institution in New Orleans. It goes way back to Mahalia Jackson. And they have been, every generation, keeping the standard just as high. So I was playing Amazing Grace with them on that clip. I've heard it. It's extraordinary. Y'all got to watch on Sunday night. You got to check out the whole thing. Definitely check out John and the choir. It's uh, incredibly moving, incredibly beautiful. And uh, I, ca I can't wait to see it. John Baptiste, everybody. <laughs> this Sunday is Father's Day. And it's always nice to send the dad in your life a card. And since it's harder to gather in person right now, those cards will matter more than ever this year. The thing is, the people who write greeting cards don't always get it right on the first try. So we're taking a look at some of their early attempts in our holiday segment, First Drafts. No, no, stupid! As always with First Drafts, I need someone from the audience to come up and help me out. Uh, is there pick anyone? Pick me, pick me! Anyone else? Here. You, young lady. Yeah, I'm the only one well, here. Why don't, you, why don't you come up? Just don't tell him you're the only one here. Come on. <laughs> here. You sit here. You sit here. I'll sit here. All right. Okay. I'll send you a card. Okay. Um, hello. You, hello. Hello. And, and what is your name? My name is Evelyn Colbert. Evelyn Colbert. Okay. What a coincidence. Okay. <laughs> so uh, here's, here's how it works. Um, okay. uh, Evie is going to show me uh, a great Father's Day card and then the not-so-great first draft of that card. Okay. This is your Father's Day present to me. Okay. Okay. Though I would also. Okay. So. I would I also like the... a present. <laughs> could I have the first draft? Yes, you can. There you go. Okay. This is actually the final. The first draft was the second one. Oh, this is the final draft. So here's yes. a lovely one. Happy Father's Day to the man who taught me everything I know. And then we open it. <laughs> I love you, Dad. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. Yeah. But the first draft said. Happy Father's Day to the man who taught me everything I know. Would you pass this along to Mr. Cunningham <laughs> if you have his address? He was an awesome teacher. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's, that's honest. What are, you, what are you doing for your dad for Father's Day? I don't know. Mm. We maybe have to go have mm. dinner? We can't. Why don't we have a... We a, can't have dinner because of the coronavirus. Why don't we have a, a plank off? Because you know Dad's really good at it. Her father can do a five-minute plank, and he's 91. Pretty good. Pretty good. The feeling of inadequacy is palpable. <laughs> there you go. I want your father and Tom Brady to, like, have a plank off or something like that. So, happy Father's Day. Dad, you taught me to never stop being curious. Thank you for making me a lifelong learner. Well, well, that's very that sweet. That is really sweet. That's a good one. But the first draft said... Happy Father's Day. So finally, I got that DNA test and it confirmed the bass player from Leonard Skinner's My Real Father. This is your last card. Ooh. That's based on a true story. That's tough. That's based on a true story. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you got another one? Sure. Oh, I don't know. Do I? Could I have the next card, please? Am you... I supposed to keep talking to you? Well, it's polite. <laughs> but you are hosting right now. I'm the guest. Um. Are you having uh, fun? Yes. <laughs> Enormous fun. <laughs> so, are you from are you from in, are you from out of town? Are, are you from out of town? I well, kind of. I grew up here. 
There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm from out of town. Yes, I'm from out of town. Okay, good. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Because you wouldn't want to think that I live here all the time. Well, I mean, I'm not going to play a game that I don't know you and that you're someone I don't know. That's not fair to your viewers. It's not honest. Keep going. Here's one. Happy Father's Day. You're the real MVP. Oh, Very that's sweet. Nice. That's nice. Can I have the first draft? But the first draft said, Happy Father's Day, Dad. Sorry, Mom benched you for Craig. Or See, Greg, that, actually. It doesn't matter. Sad story either way. It's really quite sad. <laughs> it's pretty sad. It is, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I'm sensing you want me to ask you another question. I could if you wanted to. What would you like for Father's Day? What would I like for Father's Day? Ooh, I would like, um, uh, I would like to, uh, to uh, fish, if possible. That's, if that's in the cards, the mm -hmm. weather. And then I would like to um, start drinking at <laughs> any hour I want with no judgment. Does that include breakfast? Yeah. If I want an espresso <laughs> martini to start off, you go like, hey, it's your breakfast. Okay. Done. I'm not going to do it. I just don't want, just don't want a Done. judgment if it happens. Done. Promise. Great. Great. What did you do? What was that? <laughs> I promise. Girl Scouts honor? <laughs> sure, sure. We should move on. Yeah, okay, can I have the next card, please? Sure. Okay. Whew. Grandpa, you're like a vintage car. Reliable, hardworking, and a classic. Oh, that's so nice. I'd give that to Dad. Sure. Okay. But the first draft said, Gramps, you drove your 57 Chevy through a Jamba Juice. We're going to need you to hand over the keys. Okay, how that was that? Sad. That didn't look sad. That was good. That was fun. <laughs> I was loved fun. that. that Thank you. Fun. That was a wonderful gift to me. Well, I'm I afraid there's no more time for anything else in the show. <laughs> I have a gift for you. I have one more gift for you. Oh, you do? What I is do. it? Well, I'm going to tell you. So I'm waiting. Okay. So, well, okay. I, I hid it very subtly, and you saw me hide it. I, 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 thought, I didn't know. Okay. So here's Please. the thing. Yeah? Do you remember when... Um, Madeline, our first child was born, and we took her to the pediatrician for the very first time. Are you going to make me cry? I'm not going to make you cry. Just Don't make me cry on national television. No, just listen. And Is he this said, when we gave her a shot, and she no, turned to me and said, oh, no, you betrayed me? No. The doctor turns to me, and remember, I just had a baby a couple of days before. I haven't mm -hmm. slept. And he says, how did you know your husband would be a good father? Oh. And the first thing I said, because it was true, was because he makes me laugh, which is true, oh. right? Oh. But I have thought about it over the past 25 years. <laughs> And there are lots of other reasons that you're a great father. Oh. One of them is that you listen to our children. So I wanted to give you this photo of you <laughs> talking to John because I think it shows what a great dad you are. Okay, there you go. Happy Father's Day. There you go. That's me listening to my youngest out on a hill. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that sweet? Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Happy Father's Day, dads. Oh. We'll be right back with the president of the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, Cheryl and Eiffel.